Hello and welcome to Belgium, to the capital of Belgium, also being called Brussels, somewhere in the south of it. I've just finished my job and I'm just now chilling in this tiny forest. So I sometimes do rituals here, but it's so tiny, it's so small. I mean, look at this, it, this is just an abandoned house where I am now just chilling because it's raining. And why not take the time to make a video? Because I was, I was thinking about this today. When I, when I think about this while I'm at the job, you know, I just have to make a video about this. And this was about the many questions that I had, the many questions when I was on the Dragon's Path in 2005, I had a lot of questions, so many of them, but in the end, we don't need to ask all of these questions because it, they will all be revealed. What is actually the basics of the Dragon's Path? That is actually very simple. What is the basics of faith? What is the basic of love for your for spirits? What is the basics of it? That you love them, that you are close to them. That is just it. I mean, the Dragon's Path, I, I sometimes make it seem very difficult and very harsh and very dark but in fact it's not it's light and it's easy you just need to follow it you follow your own footsteps follow your own shadows and don't be afraid of your own shadows that's just it but i had a lot of questions and so have you so have you i mean uh, yeah i mean so i had so many questions and i'm just i'm not that popular you know i just have a few I, I'm not popular at all, I mean, but all of you have a lot of questions, many of you. And I understand this very much because this reminds myself of how I was. And I had no one, and that was, that was just it. And then I came, yeah, to the first question that I, that I had a couple of times. Um, also, by the radio station, when I, whenever they interviewed me, they had asked me, why do you share this? Why do you share the dragon? Why do you want to be known with the dragon? Why do you want the spiritual dragon, the spiritual path of the dragon to be known by everyone? Why do you want to make it re uh, recognizable everywhere? Do you want to start some kind of religion or things like this? But I said, no, that is not the entire point. Whenever I, I said it, this, is what, this was my answer. When I was on the, uh, when I was 18 years old and I discovered my dragon for the first time, I wished I had someone who I could talk to. I wished I had someone who understood this. Because this was, yeah, I had the dragon in front of me. And what does it mean? I mean, I, my feelings were so harsh. My feelings were going everywhere. I didn't know what to think about this. And, when, and they never, um, what, years later, I started my Facebook page and my YouTube page just because I wanted to have someone who understands this. When I just say to someone, I believe in dragons and I've seen them and I felt them. Do you understand me? And, and I, I just was missing someone who could understand the, when, whenever a dragon comes in front of you, whenever you can feel them, the feelings that you have, the emotions, the instincts that you have, all of them are being released and you cannot say this to anyone. So. A simple trigger is enough for saying to people that they have a dragon by their side or they are on the dragon spiritual path. Simply that. Sometimes we just need someone by our side who understands. And I'm trying to say to everyone who, who feels this trigger about the dragon that I understand because I had it too. We are all on the dragon's path. Another question that is also uh, said to me uh, that it, that was actually the things that I did, my favorite things, my favorite symbol, for example. Well, that that was, that was actually very easy because the symbol that I I discovered, this dragon's eye, also being called the dragon's eye, this is my favorite symbol because it symbolizes the connection that you have with your dragons, the connections with your gods and with your spirits by your side. It's the connections of the connection of dragons, your spirit, your god, and yourself. And in the middle, you connect with each other. That is the dragon's eye. The dragon's eye is uh, a shape of a, uh, a reverse triangle that is with, with all of the three, um, with the three corners connected with each other with. Uh, lines and that is with the three lines connected it means that you are connected with your dragons and you and your dragons and this is what the dragon's eye means i sometimes lay lay on my bed with the dragon's eye uh, underneath it 
Sometimes I just want to dream and follow the dragon. The dragon's eye is a search engine for your dragons. And it's, yeah, it's very effective. And I came to discover a lot of symbols and some do something and some, some don't. But the dragon's eye is my favorite symbol and it will always be my favorite symbol for doing dragon rituals, but also in daily life. Because that is also what the dragon's path is. It's a daily life. It's not something that you just o occasionally do. It's something that you always do. You are walking on the dragon's path. Whenever you sleep, go to eat. It doesn't mean that you need to pray and do, do things like this. You don't have to be extreme in this. Just live your life. And sometimes whenever it, whenever it suits you, sometimes talk to the dragon or sometimes feel them, sometimes connect with them, sometimes do something, sometimes dance. I don't know. This is a path that you take inside of your life. This is not something that you occasionally do. You just go inside of your path once you accept it. Then with that, I also said that to um, the question that people ask me, what is your favor favorite ritual? Yeah, that is my rituals with the dragon's eye, but also a ritual that I first did. And this ritual contains that I gave my spirit, my mind and everything away. That is, that is where everyone would cross the line because this is giving your spirit and everything to a dragon to the spiritual dragon i mean the dragon that is that is how faith is how how how, how strong my faith was that is because i trusted the dragon i trusted everything about them that is why i said everything is yours and that is my ritual what i did i did this ritual just not from books. I, I do anything from books. I just just do my own thing. And this is what I discovered when you lay down in front of your altar or inside of a forest. Then um, it can be just just lay down. Just don't move a muscle. And think about your dragon. Think about the dragon that you love so much. And then whenever you are ready, then you have to talk to the dragon and you never... You have... If, if you have requests to the dragon, then it's time to, to have these requests. The, of course, don't see them as a toy or see them as something like a, a, wish, a wish granting genie or something like this. But if you want to ask them something, then ask. This is the moment that they are there. You are surrendering. This is the ritual of surrender, the ritual of giving, the ritual that I discovered myself when I lay, was laying down in front of my dragon altar. I could feel my dragon very well, coming over from my tooth to my head. And that was a very strong ritual that I could feel my dragon. And then of course, there was also a question, how did I begin my path? Now, 2005, this has been a long time, 2005, now everything was chaos, everything. Yeah, let me start with, this, with the beginning. Um, I was, bu I bought myself, no, just, I entered a store with images, with statues. Of course, I was not planning to buy something, but then in the middle of it, there was a statue of a dragon. And I was, it was like something happened inside of me. Whenever I, whenever I saw the image of the dragon standing on two legs, um, I, I was not s saying to my parents even that I wanted this. I just took it, just took it, bought, bought it. It was not even expensive, but I, somewhere I felt shame that I did that. But I shouldn't, of course. And later on, I gave this an, a, a beautiful place in my in my bedroom. And the more, the longer that it that it became, the more that I made um, a lot more decoration around it. And so after a while, it didn't even look like my table anymore. It looked like my culture. And this was this was causing my awakening. This was my trigger. This was my trigger in 2005 the 28th of November and that was <laughs> that was my birthday that was my 18th birthday whenever the dragon came before me and I saw that this trigger was very strong I didn't even believe in spirits I didn't believe in gods I didn't believe in anything I just ditched Christianity uh, I said there is no such thing as spirits and then one came before me in the form of a dragon and I was so touched by it. You cannot imagine, I don't have words for this, uh, how my path began. But of course, everything was chaos. Everything was, my, my emotions were everywhere, Every, everywhere. I didn't even know who I was. 
Out of this pure confusion that I had, I even cut myself in my arm. I even cut myself because I didn't know who I was anymore. At that moment, I have visions, visions of a, of a world where, where dragons live, a vision of, of a world where humans are not here, but I was, I was here, and the dragons as well. Later on, I, I came to call this the dragon realm because I'm sure of it that this was not the same dimension in this one. That is, I'm sure that the dragon showed me the dimension of where they are. So yeah, this is actually where it all started. For seven years I was afraid to say even to pronounce even the word dragon. I was ashamed. And after a while, after seven years, I could finally say that there are so many people like us, so many of us. And that is how it all began. And so I said, I could, I, everyone, everyone should know that there is, a, is a, there could be a dragon by your side. That there is a, so, such a thing like spiritual, a um, spiritual dragon or a spiritual path of the dragon that you can that you should not hold back that if you feel the dragon if you feel love for them if you feel this obliged to follow the dragon then do it because i was holding myself down and that is something that you shouldn't do uh, so and then of course a lot of uh, questions uh, that i had uh, from the same thing who is who is your god who is your God and who is my God? Well, in the beginning, I always <coughs> thought that this depended on what kind of, uh, I mean, what element is the closest to you, because every dragon is the force of an elemental energy that lives in her, here on Earth and even beyond that. They have the face of nature in itself. So I thought that the closer the elements, the closer you are with this particular dragon God. But I have learned that there could be several dragon gods by your side. So who is your dragon god? It's not only, yes, also depends on what element is closer to you. What do you love most? Fire, water, air or earth? Um, but it's more than that. It's more complicated than that. I came to discover who my dragon god is far from more than only knowing where my elemental energy comes from, from the element of, of course, I love the earth. I came to discover the earth. I came to discover it was Tiamat, dragon goddess, but it was much more that I should look for because I never really knew my second dragon god by my side, Leviathan. And yeah, you look, have to look further than only the, the elements, the only the elements of the earth to know who your dragon god is. It's a bit complicated, but to return all of this, the beginning of the path of the dragon and how you should begin is not, is not complicated at all. It is very simple, in fact. It is just following the dragon, just how you feel them. It's just like I was triggered from this image that is still standing on my dragon altar today, still triggered today. And this is where it all began. I came to meet a dragon. I, I loved this dragon, and from there on, the dragon took me along to a journey, a long journey with a lot of emotions, and but also a lot of happiness. And I'm, I would never go back to this way that I was before I met the dragon, because the dragon means so much for me, and I know that it, that they mean so much for everyone who has them by their side. And that is why I started my Facebook, YouTube, and that is why I came to let, let people know that there is a, a thing of spiritual path of the dragon, that they, everyone should know it. Because it's a beautiful path and we are, we are very proud to be on it. And from everything that happens to us, of course, um, it's only, it's, it's experience, this experience. I call myself a dragon witch because I use magic, but you don't, you don't need to. It's not, that is not the focus point of the spiritual path of the dragon. The focus point is how you feel and what you feel about them when they are by your side. Will you follow them? Won't you follow them? Will you do magic? Won't you do magic? Will you follow your own instincts or not? This is where it is. This is a philosophy of life. This is a way of living. Every single day you live with the dragon by your side and how your, your dreams will be and how your visions will be or how your daily life will be. But when I was at the job, I was always thinking about my dragon, always thinking about them, wanting to do something for them, just talking to them. That, that, is, that is where it's all about. A simple 
thing it's simple simply living simply living the dragon's path is simply living living by the dragon's side nothing more nothing less